Hey there, we're working now in module five and in this module we're looking at all the different types of sales transactions that can occur when working with customers. These are going to be things like, are you invoicing customers? Are you receiving payments from those customers? Maybe making deposits, credit memos, things like that. Before we get started over in section one, I want to go through very quickly with you the sales tab that's in QuickBooks and show you an overview of how it works and what type of information you can get out of it. Let's go ahead and flip over to QuickBooks and we'll look at the sales. Let's go over to our navigation bar and point to sales and then I'm going to click on overview. This is just a quick overview of your income over time. You can see that I've got $220 that it looks like I made this month, and I made that the week of February 16th through 22nd. Notice I can actually point right up here as well and see that information. If I wanted to change this and see how much I'd made this month, this quarter, for example, you can see last year, this year, you've got different choices here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose last month, and it looks like last month we brought in over $7,000. And you can see the high points of when you brought in the most money, in this case, January 19th through 25. Down here, I can see how many invoices are overdue and also the ones that I've already sent out that are not due yet, and that's $3,976. I might also have some money I've received that's not deposited yet, and you can see that here. And also I can see the amount that I actually did deposit. Over on the right here, these are some things that you can opt to set up with QuickBooks, and some of these are paid subscriptions. But if you want to set these up, you've got different ways customers can pay you. That would be Apple Pay. If you want them to be able to pay you direct deposit, things like that, you can set those up with Intuit. You can also set up to get paid anywhere. So if you have an app you've downloaded to your phone, you can accept payment right there, or you can send out an invoice to your customer that they can pay online. They can actually click that invoice and then pay you right then and there. Like I said, some of these are paid. You will want to look into those before you sign up with one of those subscriptions. If you're interested in learning how the QuickBooks payments allow you to get paid online or in person. You can watch this video here. And then they have some shortcuts to some of the things we're going to be talking about as we go along right down here. But this is a quick overview of your accounts receivable. Now notice the next tab over will show all of your sales. Here you'll see all the information on any sales transactions. You can see all the transactions listed at the bottom. So you're going to see invoices, payments, credit memos, you look down the list, here's a time charge. There's a sales receipt or refund. Any transaction that happened with your customer is going to be on this list. You're going to see all the information about the transaction, the balance, the total, and all the way over on the right, you can take an action related to that particular transaction. If you click the down arrow, notice that you can either copy this, you might want to delete it, you might want to send a reminder. You can kind of see your choices there. The next tab at the top that you're going to see are your invoices. These are just invoices that are not yet paid. You'll notice it shows you all the information about each of the invoices, the balance, the total, if it's overdue, maybe not sent, or if it's partially paid, you can see some of these. And then of course, here's your actions again, if you want to take one of these actions related to one of these invoices. The tab that's next is your customer tab, and we've spent a lot of time on that. And the last tab says products and services. Products and services are things that you either buy or sell to your customer. They can be a physical item, it could even be inventory, or just a service you provide. And you can see for all of these that you can look at all kinds of options related to whatever's underneath that particular tab. That gives you a quick overview of how to use the sales option. What I want to do now is take you back and let's go ahead and get started looking at how to actually create sales receipts for those customers that want to go ahead and buy something and pay you at the same time. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.